Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today we're going to be reading this book called My Strong Mind. Now, before I get started reading, does anyone ever get happy sometimes? Raise your hand. Yeah, does anyone maybe get sad sometimes? I know I do. Yeah? What about, does you never get scared sometimes? I know I do. So, in this book, we're going to be talking about all these different feelings. So, let's get started. My Strong Mind by Niels Van Hove. Kate is a sporty and happy girl. She does well at school and has many friends. But like every girl, she faces difficult situations at home or at school. Sometimes things just don't go as she likes. She is slow to get ready for school, making her parents grumpy with her. All her friends can do cartwheels, but she cannot. Can any of your friends do things that you can't do? Yeah. She is afraid to stand in front of the class to do show and tell. Her friends sometimes say mean things. One day, Kate read a book about strong minds. She learned that everyone has their own brain and can make up their own mind. Does everyone here have a brain? Everybody go knock, knock. Try to hear your brain. She can teach her mind what to do and how to tackle any situation with a positive attitude. When you practice, your mind gets smarter and stronger. It's okay to try and fail because over time, your mind can help you get better at anything you want. Kate decided to use her mind with her challenges. Cute. That evening, Kate wrote a list of all of her tasks she had to do. In the morning, she had to get dressed, brush her hair, brush teeth, pack school bag, and many more things. The next morning, she told her mind to do one task at a time until her whole list was done. Kate focused her mind on her task list. One by one, she finished her task and ticked them off her list. Everyone tick their things off, make a little check mark in the air. Can you make a check mark? As she worked through her list, she was ready for school with plenty of time to spare. Look at all that time on the clock. Her parents were very surprised. When Kate arrived at school, her friends were doing cartwheels. Kate never joined in because she couldn't do a cartwheel, but she did not want to fail in front of her friends. Kate told her mind, it's okay to try and fail, because every time I try, I get a little bit better. She tried her hardest, throwing her hands onto the ground and lifting her legs, and she almost got the cartwheel just right. Her friends giggled, but Kate felt good that she practiced. And she told her mind, well done. Everyone tell their mind, well done. That day, is, it was her turn to do show and tell in front of the whole class. Standing before a big group always made Kate really nervous. But she told her mind, it's okay to feel a little bit scared because you can do this. Kate closed her eyes and imagined how she would deliver a great show and tell speaking clearly making eye contact and smiling. Everyone smile, show me your smiles that you would do for show and tell. Because she practiced in her mind, she wasn't so nervous in front of the class and she even enjoyed her show and tell. During lunch, Kate sat with around her friends in the schoolyard. Some of her friends started to be mean to Kate and she got very angry and felt like screaming. Does anyone ever get angry and feel like screaming sometimes? I know I do, but let's see what Kate does. Then Kate told her mind, count to 10. Let's all count to 10 together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That helped Kate calm down, so she didn't feel like screaming anymore. 
Kate told her friends in a calm voice that she didn't want to be treated like that and walked off. In the evening, Kate had a basketball game. Her team was very unlucky that night. They were missing some of their best players and hardly any ball went into the hoop. The other team had many strong players and they were way ahead in the score. Kate was tired and she felt like giving up. Then she told her mind, keep trying your best. Everyone tell your mind, keep trying your best. Kate kept running and running as long as she could she, her team lost the game, but Kate still felt proud that she did the best she could. Kate was very tired from a long day, but she couldn't sleep. She kept thinking about all the things that happened that day. Kate got out of bed and found her dad lying on the couch watching television while glancing at her phone. Daddy, Kate said. Her dad wasn't really listening. Daddy, Kate said even more loudly. You're not listening to what I want to say. Does anybody's parents sometimes not hear us the first time we say something? Yeah. Her dad looked up at her. Did you know you can tell your mind to stop looking at your phone and listen to me? You are right, said her dad. I'll put my phone away and concentrate on you. Can't you sleep? Kate shook her head. Let's play a game to relax. It's called Rock the Boat. Okay, I want everyone to turn to their neighbor. We can do a turn and talk. I want you to say to your neighbor what you do to help yourself fall asleep at night when you can't fall asleep. Okay, I heard some really great answers, guys. Let's bring it back here and figure out what Kate does to help herself fall asleep. Kate and her dad both lie down on their backs and put a little paper boat on their tummies. They listened to some quiet music and took some deep breaths. Breathe in. Everybody breathe in. One, two, three, four, and breathe out. Everybody breathe out. One, two, three, four. Breathing made the boat rock up and down on their tummies. After a couple minutes, Kate's mind had calmed and she started to feel sleepy. Her dad carried Kate to bed and tucked her in. Kate asked, what were your three favorite things of the day, Daddy? It made Kate feel good when she heard all the positive things her dad had done, to, had done that day. Well, watching you do your best at the basketball game surely was one of my favorite things, said her dad. That made Kate feel really, really happy. Kate fell asleep to her dad telling all of his favorite things, and her mind grew just a little bit stronger that day. The end. Now, boys and girls. Did everyone like that book? Yeah, one person raised their hand and tell me one thing that they liked best about this book. Yeah, that was pretty cool. What was one thing new someone learned today? Can someone raise their hand and tell me something new they learned? Oh, that's a great one. Great job, guys. Well, that's all that we have for our read aloud today. Thanks for listening.